Hello and welcome into an indie delight. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is a series that's dedicated to looking at free indie games. And today I'd like to show you Finn Truong's Ember Light, where we play as a girl named Cassie stuck on an isolated island with a lighthouse. And all we're trying to do is be okay again. So you and I, let's go help Cassie. You are packing your bag. You're exhausted and beat up. You've been struggling for a while now. Grace tried to be there for you. She's your closest friend since forever. If you ever really cared about anybody, it's her. But eventually, you stop talking to her too. Aww. You can't remember the last time you ate anything. Grace made you some sandwiches a few days ago. It's the last thing you got around. You ate them in tears. You finally left. Oh, the sprite reminds me of like the characters in Spirit Fair. That's really cute. Okay, E. Welcome, Cassie. We're thrilled to have you. Oh, so this island knew where we're coming. Your duty will involve operating and maintaining the lighthouse. Supply will be shipped out once every month. You can contact us via the given information if you have any questions. And welcome aboard. Okay. You are left a note saying that you'll be gone for a bit. But you don't think you'll ever come back. Oh, we can. I hope. One year later. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I got here. Maybe it'll be nice if I can clean up around here a little bit. Clean up the island. Okay, we will do. We can jump. Oh, it's cute. Can we go in the ocean? <gasps> we can. All right. <laughs> oh, it's like a little jumping platform. Can we ever go outside? Oh, all right. Okay. Can we turn on the lighthouse? Phew. I'm exhausted. Hey, we at least we cleaned up the place though, right? <laughs> I like how our character has to climb this lighthouse because it feels like it's like a, a challenge in itself, right? For our character. Get on top of the lighthouse. We'll do. I guess it's autumn already. People say that autumn is the season of endings. But I think it's really the season of new beginning. And I'm always terrified of that. But I don't know what will come next. I don't know if I have enough left to take it. What I know is that there will be no new beginning for me. I know that for a while now. I'm happy I found this place. I think I'll be okay here waiting for the end. You know what, Island? You've been with me for a long time now. Literally carrying me. You shouldn't be this empty. And boring. And sad. No longer, I declare. I will personally, for there is no one else, make you look better. Somewhat. Decorate the island? Alright, so at least the lighthouse has some companions, right? Happy shooting star day. Tonight, the biggest meteor shower of the year will appear in the night sky. Make a wish and it may as well come true. <gasps> oh, so maybe we can get out of this island or maybe we can have somebody on the island with us, maybe? Phew! That's not half bad. Maybe I should be a landscaper. A professional landscaper. Who works exclusively on islands with a lighthouse. <laughs> and I will charge them one million dollars for my service every time. Hey, it's shooting star day. Oh, that's nice. That reminds me also of Spirit Fair, where there's a game with uh, one of the sprites. His name is Giovanni, and there's like a long, complicated history between uh, his character and a girl and another character named Astrid. And he has this great mini game that's in there with the shooting stars. It's one of my favorite. Oh, I didn't like the lamp. Oh, you could. <laughs> I didn't mean to make my character fall down there, but I like the back, right? Turn the light on. Turn the lights down low. Get on top of the lighthouse. So I wonder who we're waiting for. Like who? Because lighthouses are supposed to uh, tell ships that something is close. Like the land is close, right? So who are we talking to out there? It's a beautiful night. I remember back in the day, everyone was always looking forward to shooting star. 
and they just say, I never really believe in wishes. I used to think it's silly to believe a burning star can give anybody anything. But now screaming your desire to the universe and never heard doesn't seem so bad. If I can make just one, I wish I wasn't so worthless. I wish I was better. I wish I can get up in the morning and look forward to things again. I wish it didn't hurt this badly. Yeah, I guess it was more than one wish. Oh, we're just trying to be okay. It's okay, Cassie. We'll be okay. We, we can get back there. Oh my god. It's from Grace. I'm not ready for this. Light the lamp. Oh, okay. I wonder why we're not ready. Is Grace like a dear friend that is no longer with us? You know, like either passed away. Or is Grace the one we're looking out for, you know? Hi, Cassie. It's been really tough tracking you down. I guess you really made up your mind about leaving. When you're gone, I was really afraid. Some part of me knew that I might never see you again. But I get why you left. I know life can really screw you over. And people always say you gotta get back up. That thing's gonna get better. But you know what? It's really f***ing hard to believe in all of that. I never told you this, but... I was in a really sh place. I was suffocating. I could barely get out of bed every day. I didn't think that it's gonna get any better. But you were there. Aww, we were there for each other. You came through for me, so is she coming through for me? You made me feel like I can be okay again. Little things you did. The stupid jokes you used to tell. All of it meant so much. You meant the f world to me. I'm not gonna tell you everything is gonna be okay. Or if we do it together, we can get through it. Because even I know that's a f***ing shot in the dark. But you know, life is so weird and wonderful and terrifying, and things might never be better. But hey, why not f and give it a shot anyway? I miss you, Cassie. I hope you're going to be okay. I packed something for you that I think you might like. Love, Grace. Aww. At least she, she, she's giving us a space, right? Hmm. It feels nice today. Maybe it's time to renovate the lighthouse for a bit. It always seems like too much work that I can't handle. But f*** it. Why not? I'll be great. I'm sure. Oh, we're, I feel like, you know, like doing the things for the island is like getting her back in there. You know, renovate the lighthouse. Like, we're finally putting our place in. Like, that's a nice, like, that's, look at that's a nice, like, little, like, uh, uh, like a little living room there, right? With, like, a nice little fireplace. She has some books to tell the time. And then we have, what's this gonna be? Oh, a kitchen! That's a really cozy looking kitchen. I wonder where you got all these supplies from. It's like she's getting back up there, you know? And I hope that there could be, like, a reunion with Grace soon. Wow. It looks so much better. I did this. I can do it after all. This feels so weird, but I'm so happy. In our little island. Light the lamp. Maybe Grace can come over too. It seems like they, they were dear friends, you know? It's a nice little lighthouse. It's a nice like little, oh, look at the little hexagonal, uh, like uh, honeycomb looking uh, uh, shelves with the plants. That's cute. It feels so long since I arrived. Yeah, in the beginning, I think it's the only time that I ever told us, like, one year later. So, technically, I don't really know how many, like, years or days or months I've been on this island. Because it feels like maybe each day is a passing day once we got through a year. So, maybe, like, a year plus. Like, a year and, like, three, four-ish days. It's funny. All the time I was here. There's not a single ship or boat that comes around. I always feel this place is kind of like me. Pointless. No, you made it look nice, though, right? But now I think that the idea that there's something out there waiting to help you find your way, it's kind of comforting. For the first time in forever, I feel like everything is going to be okay. For the first time in forever, I'm going to be okay. And even if I'm not, I can be okay again. I miss Grace. I'll go back to see her. I promise. Now I'd like to see a follow-up between Cassie and Grace, you know, like their, their, their friendship. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of An Indie Delight. Your company is always wonderful to have. Today we looked at Amberlight by Finn Truong. 
and that was really cute. If you'd like to go try this game out yourself or play through the story, the link will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more indie delights. And until next time, always take care.